channel. Today we're at Cedar Point. And you no longer have to wear a mask outside. As long as you're outside and in the park, you don't have to. And as long as you're maintaining six feet of distance. And if you're inside, then they do require masks. And we're also here for the Frontier Festival, which I have to get the passes for because we have to go to the back of the park yep. to get them. We were just walking around trying to find where to get our passes and we found out until two. it does not open and start till 2 and the festival runs 2 to 8 but we showed them that on our app and online it says all day so they were not aware of that and they're actually going to fix that and get that changed to the right time. But we can go to the booth a little bit before 2 p.m. and get our passes to redeem for our tickets and then get the um, the other stuff in the park like go to our stations and get our food and stuff so we'll kind of do like a later lunch and dinner then tonight yeah, we didn't we'll plan for a, we'll have a little bit of time to kill yeah but we'll show you Three some hours. of the booths that are around and we'll show you the ones we go to and stuff once it starts we got our pamphlet and it shows you all the activities and entertainment and then it shows you all the food locations and what's in everything so that'll be nice and today, Justin Fabus hmm, is performing, which is going to be on that stage actually right over there. And they perform at 2, 3, 4, 5, 30, 6, 30, and 7, 30. So we'll have to stop by and see him perform today. And here's the festival t-shirts. This is the lanyard they give you. I've already used some of my tickets, but you're supposed to have 12 and then you tear off the tickets and give it to them for your food or your beverage, depending on how many tickets it is. So this is one of the tasting stations. I'm actually getting all three of these. The first one is breaded, bite-sized chicken chunks with tangy barbecue sauce, served with the gooey gold mac and cheese, which is this one. And then the other one is the get-along little doggies, which is mini hot dogs with a side of mac and cheese. In my opinion, you should just get one of these two for two tickets and get both versus spending a ticket on this. Oh, I think I got the bowl ball in that. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. I thought that was good. Mm -hmm. It's like a mango lemonade. It's really good. I'm excited for the little hot dogs and mac and cheese. The mac and cheese looks really good. Oh my god. Is it good? That's like 10 times better than the last festival. And it doesn't have the bread crumbs. Right. I like it. These are the baby hot dogs. <laughs> they look good. Is it that really good hot dog? Or is it a little different? So. It's a little different, but it's still good. It looks good. Yeah, they called it Get Along Little Doggy. Yeah, I thought that was cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you get the mac and cheese and two little hot dogs for two tickets. Yeah, that's a really great deal. Mm -hmm. And this was two yeah. for the bigger one. Yeah. So. All right. They're not the best nuggets, but they're not the worst either. Well, that's not too bad. They need some sauce. Yeah, but, but they don't have sauce. any regular sauce. Oh well. Oh. It's fine. This is a part of the Frontier Festival tasting station number nine at Miss Keats, and they have the smoking cherry wings, three tickets, which I'm not going to be trying today, but I will be trying the walk-in chicken salad with the cherry vanilla vinaigrette and the cherry bombs cheesecake filled. Mine's the walk-in chicken salad, and this is like a breaded, it almost looks like a cornucopia, or it's like a cone, I don't know what you call it. So you can pick it up and take it with you. But. Mm -hmm. mm. The cherry vinaigrette kind of kicks in after, and it's not too strong. It's like a nice, nice taste. It's like sweet. So if you like vinaigrette, I think you'd like it because it's not really overpowering cherry. Very crispy and really good. 
Excellent. That is like, it's like the cherry chicken in the salad. Very good. And for this, the chicken salad, it was three tickets. busier than last season. I think that they're still doing some sort of capacity, but it's not nearly as good as it was last time. But we feel comfortable so far. Kelsey will be getting the Barboca nachos at the Chuck Wagon. So add Tito's vodka for an additional two tickets. Did it mess you up because you have gum in your mouth? I don't know. It's, I don't know. Oh no. At least you got the sample. It's all right. It's a little too much to I'd rather have a little more lemonade. Can I just try a little that? bit and then see what yeah. I think? Isn't that weird? It's not really cherry. I don't know what it is. I was just joking about what I said earlier. I mean, it's not bad. It's like cherry, mint, and lemonade together, but it definitely has that, it's like a refreshing taste, like almost like a refresher, but in a weird way. Okay, so this is the Fountain and Float station. I'm gonna be getting the cherry Coke float, which is cherry pie filling mixed with Pops black cherry ice cream. And they also have a cherry shake and a cherry cobbler, but I'm not getting either one of those. But there's the pictures of those and how many tickets they cost. Shouldn't go to bed angry, cause two in the morning. Girl, what you wanna do? Do you wanna cry and wanna say goodnight? Tell me you are, honey, this could be over. Cedar Point and the Frontier Festival that they had. We wanted to share a few of our thoughts with you. So, I mean, overall, it was really cool. It was fun. I think it was a cute festival and a good idea. Mm -hmm. I like that they're starting to do festivals now. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Epcot at Disney. Mm -hmm. And like with the food pass that you got, I thought that was like a really good idea. Mm -hmm. I almost didn't really like the ticket system. Like when we did the um, Trick or Treats Festival, Oh, and they yeah. had the scan punches. I mean, I don't know which way you're getting more food or not. I'm not really yeah. sure. But I don't remember how many punches. It might have been 12 as well, but I feel like we got yeah. more food Yeah. this time. Because my two of mine came with mac and cheese. It was like a whole meal, mm -hmm. pretty much. And it's supposed to be like samples. If you watch so. what you get for your amount of tickets, you can try to get yourself more mm -hmm. than some of the items. Because if, if you're going after all three ticket items and it's only one item for those things, you're going to end up with a lot less. So if you watch and do it right, like, it'll work out. It just depends mm -hmm. what you want, though, and what you like to eat as well. So, yeah. But that was worth it and fun. The only problem with that was it's opening day and they weren't quite prepared to handle mm -hmm. all the people that were there. Getting the passes, even if you ordered online, you had to order online, too. And then you had to wait in a line just mm -hmm. to get, like, your physical pass. So, like, these are the passes that you get in, like, at the bottom, which this one doesn't anymore because we used them all, but it has, like, your tickets at the bottom and you rip them off and give them to them. Mm -hmm. But I like that sort of ticket system, 
but they were not prepared yeah. for the lines. They probably had maybe a good two hour line yeah. behind I mean, us. We, we were, were lucky front. to get up front. Yeah, because like we st- we got there a little bit before one thirty, and we were waiting till like a little bit after two. Mm-hmm. And the festival runs two to eight, and that mm-hmm. was the other issue we ran into. Online on our app, it said the festival is all day. So we yeah. thought we get there, we get our passes, and we just go. And that was kind of a malfunction on their end too, because it's only two to eight, and on certain days, I guess. But we yeah. knew that they were. We knew have it was it certain day. days, mm-hmm. but we didn't know that it wasn't going to be all day. Yeah. Like we, until we got in the park, and there was signs saying that it was two to eight, and we're like, "But online it said all day, so but what's up with I that?" I think it worked out in some ways because, like, if you still want to go to the park and ride stuff, go before two, and then you can mm-hmm. enjoy the festival and the foods and stuff from two to eight. Yeah. Because it does take a significant amount of time to wait in line to get the food you want, and to go to the little booths and different stuff, not as long. But to go into where the food yeah. is, it's quite a while. The most popular one was Miss Keats, but that was because they had like six out of the, I don't know, maybe 20 to 25 items that they had. And they had like a bunch of like alcohol stations and they had like five of those and they spread that out pretty well. But some of the food you had to wait a long time, especially for our Coke float, we yeah. had to wait an hour and a half just for a Coke float. For but one. It was the last thing. That we needed. Like, we had already used all of our other tickets, and that was what we were going to get last. So, we just waited it out. Yeah. She actually went to the front of the park to try try to get on Gatekeeper. Yeah. And she got there, and they closed the gate right when she got up there. So, then she ended up coming back. But I was like, I bet you could get on and off before I'm done. Yeah. She would have, too. I could walk to the front of the park and back almost before she had gotten. But, see, we were in line for a good half hour before I even did that. Like, 45 minutes, actually. Yeah. So... I did, like, walk back in time, but the staffing, I mean, I know they're just opening, so, like, I'll give them a little slack mm-hmm. there. I'm sure it will get better as it goes on, Yeah, we experienced this the very first day. Yeah, I feel like they didn't train them as well yet. Like, I could tell, like, yeah. some people have worked there a while, so they already knew what they were doing, but, there's but a there lot was of new other people. people that you could tell were new, and they just didn't know... And, it, and they didn't have, like, somebody there to, like, help them. Right. And in some ways, they can't help that opening day. It's just going to be the way it is. They're working through it. But Yeah. Yeah. If you want to enjoy it, I don't know how it's going to go in the future. Get there early. Get in line early. Get your passes. It can be enjoyable. We were able to use all our tickets, so we weren't, like, behind on anything. We made it through everything. Yeah. And it works out. I think it was really fun. Mm-hmm. Thanks for joining us at Cedar Point's Frontier Festival. See you guys next time. Bye.